All right, welcome back to the RBL. And before we dive into the video, I have a big announcement. So due to the immense support by you guys, I can finally monetize my channel and I'm extremely grateful for it. And now you can officially become a TKO member. The 2025 RBL draft is locked in and everybody that submitted a player is gonna get in. However, after this draft to submit a player, you must become a TKO member. And when you become a member, you get access to the RBL member only Discord where you can submit your own player. However, if you become a member and don't have Discord, you can just comment your player and I'm able to see if you're a member or not so I can put you in. So to become a TKO member, just go to my channel and press the join button. The join button is also in the description of this video. It's only $2.99 a month, so $36 a year. And along with being able to submit players, you get access to videos earlier, uh, member shoutouts, priority comment replies, and exclusive badges and emojis. Alright, let's now head into the video. So we are getting closer to the RBL playoffs and here are the current standings and we can see the top four seats uh, and they could all change as the Wolverines, Stars, Lions, and Sparrows are all very close record wise. And barring any complete meltdowns, this should pretty much be the top eight uh, for the playoffs. Just depends how the seeds shuffle up at the end. And the teams that will likely be battling to select James Harden in the RBL draft are the Raleigh Cavalry, Baltimore Glory, Virginia Storm, the St. Louis Sound, Athens Ravens, Omaha Barrage, and the Tampa Bay Sharks, and Chicago Legacy. If any of these teams are your favorite, there is hope because one of these teams uh, will select James Harden. But the games we will be checking out today are the Virginia Storm vs OKC Wolverines. And we get to see a clash of the Titans, Zach Eady vs Bobo. And then also the other games are the Tampa Bay Sharks vs Athens Ravens, and the St. Louis Sound vs Pittsburgh Force. And the timestamps are in the description if you want to see any game in particular. Alright, let's get into the games now. And I definitely know that this uh, matchup between the Storm and the Wolverines have been on every single RBO fan's calendar, marked on there for a while. It's Zach Eady versus Bol Bol, who's going to win the tip off, and Bol Bol gets it. And uh, let's see these two uh, throw down against each other, these two uh, behemoths. And there's a pick and roll to Zach Eady, who starts off the game strong. There's another pick and roll to Zach Eady there. It's just, it's a cheat code, man, and then... Even if, um, say, he doesn't get the ball in the pick and roll and, uh, you know, Romeo Langford takes a jump shot, he just grabbed the offensive rebound and just slam it. It's, he's an absolute cheat code. And that's why he's the uh, front runner for MVP and uh, Rookie of the Year so far. And he's also a candidate for DPOY. So very, he's having a great season. And there's Bol Bol uh, making a mark in this game. And he's in a pick and roll. D-Rolls who pulls up and D-Rose gets the shot down, improving his three-point jumper. Looking good in the RBL. And uh, the Storm are uh, they are doing better than they once were um, with their acquisition of Willie Cauley Stein and uh, Austin Rivers, but still, uh, it's just not enough. They're not going to make the playoffs, most likely. But Bobo gets a, th a, uh, a chance to get a four point play. Zach Eady fouls him on the perimeter. And Bobo gets free throw. Very easy stuff for him. Here's Marquise Noel driving in. With a nice spin into a mid-range jump shot and gets it. Marquise Noel is nice. He's he's like a 5'7". I think he's like 5'7". Uh, point guard. And he's a, he's a great scorer. A great college player for uh, Kansas State. I'm sure if, if you all know college basketball, you know who uh, Marquise Noel is. Misses jump shot. And there's Zach Eady once again bailing out the Wolverines. He's the ultimate plan B. Pause. Um, <laughs> for the, uh, the Wolverines. And here's D. Rose sending it off to Willie Cauley Stein. Newly uh, acquired backup center for them, giving them some defense and a uh, presence in the paint. And speaking of presence in the paint, it's just Zach, it's a Zach Eady show. What else can you say? And here's a big kick out to TJ Warren, who gets a three. TJ Warren also working on his three point game. Always known for being like a DeMar DeRozan type player. Can't make a three, but great uh, inside the uh, three point line. And there's D. Rose driving in. Uh, getting a three-point play chance there. Marquise Noel fouling him. And he gets it. Good stuff there. And it's a very tight ball game. Let's see this pick and roll between D-Rose and Bol Bol. And D-Rose gets a mid-range shot. Clutch shot there. And the Stormer in transition. They give it to D-Rose who just bullies his way in. That is classic D-Rose. Just finding a way to get inside. And he does it. And Zach Eady needs to make this shot. Gets it over Bobo with the hook. Fantastic shot over the seven foot three Bobo. 
And yeah, unfortunately, I lost the footage, but D Rose hit a three to win the game. I'm sorry I couldn't get that footage. I don't know wh where it went, but D Rose clutched out, hit a three in sudden death overtime, and uh, won the game for the uh, Wolverines. So yeah, uh, great stuff there. The battle of Zach Eden and Bobo it delivered. And now let's head into the Athens Ravens versus the Tampa Bay Sharks. These are two teams that are not going to make the playoffs, but they are two of like the most popular teams. So uh, I figured why not you know give them some more showcase since uh, we are going to head into the playoffs. So we're not going to see these teams for a while. It's also why I included the sound in this video. Uh, they're a popular team as well, and also the Force. Uh, they're going to be a playoff team. Um, so I figured I'd show them, see where they're at in their season. They're I believe they're in seventh place right now. They were number three last year, but teams didn't improve. I, but I thought the Ravens would be one of those teams that improve. I mean, they signed guys like uh, Jalen McDaniels off the bench. Um, they drafted uh, Chani Carlos and Andrew Josquez, who is ha one of the best rookies uh, this year. And they also got uh, Patrick Beverly, Taco Fall. So I thought they'd, they'd improve. Um, they had a bad season, so we'll see what the Ravens do this offseason. We'll see if they can get James Harden. And there's a great shot from uh, uh, Josh Christopher, former Houston Rocket. And there's a solid three made there from uh, Admiral Schofield, who uh, the Tampa Bay Sharks got for Kevin Knox. They actually traded Kevin Knox to Chicago Legacy. Uh, Knox just wasn't happy. He also wanted to play power forward, so they got to go 3 and D guy in return at Admiral Schofield. There's Shondi Carlos, the uh, first-round draft pick for the uh, Ravens. A bit of a surprising pick, but um, he's been solid for them so far. And uh, it is enough to get by the Sharks. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how they do next season, if they can rebound. Hopefully they get a James Harden. Same for the Sharks, maybe they get a James Harden. Or even a Westbrook. Westbrook is also in the draft, so... Um, I mean, either one of those players can definitely change the uh, trajectory for either one of these teams. And we are now at the main event. Well, actually, I mean, I think E.D. Bobo would be in the main event. But the main event of this video will be uh, the uh, Pittsburgh Force versus the St. Louis Sound. Battle of the Gold. So we'll see who can take it home. There's Victor Oladipo and DeAndre Jordan in the pick and roll. And DeAndre gets a big dunk. And uh, this will be a good battle between Howard and uh, DeAndre Jordan. Uh, guys can grab offensive rebounds, block shots, dunk. And uh, there's a good three from Victor Oladipo. Who, um, another disappointing team, the St. Louis Sound. They were uh, the f the number four seed last year, and now I think they're in 13 for 12. Not a good season from them. So I hope they're able to have a good season next year because they are a pretty popular team. They have cool jerseys. Victor Oladipo is a fun player. Um, they got DeAndre Jordan, Justice Winslow. Uh, they have a good team. So they also have Killian Hayes, who uh, has been playing great in the RBL. And there's a pass of Jamichael Green, who lands a three, a good uh, two-way power forward for the uh, uh, St. Louis Sound. And then there is Dwight Howard, classic Dwight Howard there, Superman in the air. And that pick and roll between Dwight and Kevin Porter is just something else, but they don't get the lob there, and we have the sound in transition. And Victor Oladipo just does a little spin rooney and it works for him somehow. <laughs> hey man, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. There's a pass to Omer Yurt7, who makes the uh, good uh, shot in the paint there for the St. Louis now. There's Kevin Porter Jr. hopping in, but he sends out the Zaire Smith, who lands the big three for them right there. And Kevin Porter gives it to Dwight Howard in the paint. Can he make the shot? And does! Great shot from Dwight Howard there. Clutch basket. And uh, yeah, that does it for the, uh, the four state take down the st louis sound they survived the sound a pretty close game and um some good basketball today some great basketball we saw today and that's the end of this episode the next episode will be the start of the uh, rbl um uh playoffs season two the season two playoffs so definitely uh stay tuned for that and uh thank you guys so much for uh, the support i'm now at 2000 subscribers and i'm truly thankful for you guys and uh, make sure to become a member peace out guys